everybody, this is Laura with Crazy Cool Cakes. This is episode 6 on how to create our beautiful mermaid themed cake. If you'd like to learn how to make this adorable little mermaid cake topper, please check out the links underneath this video and that'll take you to my online shops and there you'll find a wonderful PDF tutorial I've created on how to make her. This is Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes and today we're coming to you with another episode to our under the sea slash mermaid themed cake that we're creating and today we're going to be teaching you how to make these beautiful name plaque and number plaque for your cake. Our name plaque will go on our 8 inch and our little number plaque will go on our 6 inch. As you can see here I have them drying on styrofoam. This is not absolutely necessary. This is only if you want to make your plaques in advance to making your cake but again not necessary you can actually create these very quickly after you've made your cake and you can just simply glue it on there and as you can see the gum paste does not stick to the styrofoam so just get yourself some gummy cakes chop them in half if you'd like to do it this way and again I hope you guys have fun and let's go ahead and get started Alright guys, so as you can see I've already started by rolling out a beautiful light blue gum paste. Remember you can always use whatever color you'd like, but I've chosen this blue to stay with our ocean theme, under the sea theme. And as you can see here I've rolled it out to about one eighth of an inch, not thick at all. Okay, so depending on the length of your name, you decide how long you need this to be. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue on the letters of my name. And I've already cut out all five letters of my name using my tappets. And I am providing here the link for you to my tutorial on how to use tappets to create cake font. For those of you who do not know what tappets are, okay, they are these little stencils where you can cut out your letters. And these are by FMM. So check out the tutorial. You'll see the link right here in this section of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler as a guide to keep my letters nice and straight. Now if you want to do a wavy effect and you want to uh, kind of make your letters go up and down, you're more than welcome to, but I'm going to go ahead and keep mine nice and straight. So I'm going to go ahead and glue mine now by using a little bit of edible glue. Alright guys, so as you see, I used my ruler as my guide as I was placing my letters to keep it nice and straight. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is remove my ruler. My plaque this time is going to be a little bit different than the original under the sea theme mermaid cake that we did. This time I want to give it more of a under the sea feel, so I'm going to give it a wavy look. So I'm just going to take my blade and just do a nice wavy cut and take your time and more importantly don't be afraid okay so there's my first cut I'm gonna go to the top so this is definitely uh, in keeping with the theme okay and once in a while I like to take my wipe here and clean the blade so that it's nice and clean and it doesn't pull on your gum paste as you're freehanding the cut Make sure that your beginning and end meets. Okay, so there is my first layer to my plaque. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of lift this up and put it off to the side for now. And now I'm going to roll out my dark blue, which is the background for my plaque. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Thank you. 
Okay, so I've gone ahead and rolled out, a, again, a thin uh, piece of gum paste, about one eighth of an inch, and this is my pretty blue that I'm gonna use as the second layer or the backdrop to my first layer. So all I did was just ensure that I rolled it out larger than my first layer, okay? And all I'm gonna do now is take my, the first layer of my plaid, flip it over in my hand carefully, and I'm going to add edible glue all along the back of my plaque. Okay. That's good enough for me. Okay, carefully flip it over and place it right in the center of the second layer of your plaque. Okay. Clean your hands to make sure that you don't have a bunch of glue stuck to your fingers. Then just gently tap the ends and a little bit in the center without ruining your letters to make sure that it's nice and glued, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is, once again, making sure my blade is clean. Remember, you want it nice and clean so it doesn't yank and pull on your gum paste as you're doing your cuts. And all I'm gonna do is give myself about another half an inch from the edge of the light blue plaque that I already cut and just follow the same exact cut. Now, you don't have to do the same exact cut. You could do you know, anything you want and it's still gonna look really nice. But for my purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and follow the same cut. And remember to give yourself about a half an inch so that you can see the blue color in the back. Okay, there's the bottom part. Wipe it down. cutting on top of my silicone mat here a lot of people have asked me if you can cut on the silicone mat and yes you can you want to do it very lightly so that you don't cut through your mat but once in a while we do have to replace our mats okay so I'm gonna remove the excess and there is my plaque with my name okay very very pretty so now what I want to show you all is how to make your plaque look even more a little bit more under the sea theme so we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and add some really cute little barnacles to our plaque okay so i'm going to show you how to do that now okay guys so now we're going to teach you how to make these adorable little barnacles and as you can see here i already have a bunch of little ones made and basically they look like little donuts Okay, and this is actually what real little barnacles look like under the ocean, so they're a lot of fun to make, really, really adorable. So let me show you very quickly just how easy it is. So I have this beautiful burnt orange that we're gonna be using on our cake, and I just take a tiny little piece of the burnt orange, and I just roll it in my hand to make a little ball. Okay, place it on your work surface, and then just squash it down with your finger, but you don't want it completely flattened. You want it to be a little bit fat like a donut, okay? Then take your medium-sized ball tool, or any ball tool you'd like. My husband's even made some of these super, super tiny and they look adorable, but I'm using a medium-sized ball tool. And you just take the ball tool and you press it in, not all the way completely through until you feel your work surface. You just want to give it that little, little dent on the inside, okay? So there's one more barnacle and we're gonna add it to our little barnacle pile. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to bring in my plaque, okay? And I wanna show you how these look very, very cute when they're actually clustered around your plaque. So simply all you need to do is take a little bit of edible glue on the end of your brush, place a little bit of glue at the back of the barnacle, and then you just place it on your plaque, okay? And I like to cluster these in sets of three or four. Once in a while, one random one by itself looks really cute. Okay, there's a second one. And these look very beautiful once they are shimmered. Here's my third one. Okay, and again, you know, if you feel artistic, just go for it. Wherever you think they'll look cute, 
Really, there is no wrong place to put these barnacles because they are just so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to add my barnacles so you all can see what the finished product looks like. All right guys, so now you see my completed plaque with little cute clusters of barnacles. I have a, a cluster of four here, three clusters of three, and a couple of clusters of two. So really, really cute and simple to do. And it adds a lot of uh, under the sea theme character to your plaque, okay? So now you are going to take your plaque that you've created and we're going to use our eight inch styrofoam dummy because remember when we create our mermaid theme cake we're going to be placing this plaque on the eight inch round tier so I like to have my plaques dry in the shape and in the size of the tier that they're going to be going on so I'm going to carefully lift my plaque and just place it over the styrofoam okay and gum paste does not stick to styrofoam so this is you can, you know, this is a perfect way to let this dry for a couple of days. And I want to show you one last little thing that you can do to make your plaque look extra, extra pretty. I'm going to take my pearl uh, dust, okay, and place a little bit in the cap. Take your fine bristled brush and just a little bit in the cap so that it doesn't go flying everywhere. And I hold my cap while I very carefully and loosely add shimmer to my plaque. So this makes it extra girly, extra pretty. If the under the sea theme cake is for a boy, why not? Shimmer makes everything look really, really nice, very pretty and cool looking. What do you think, baby? I think it looks awesome. Very pretty, I love the colors, love the theme. And when you steam your plaque, the shimmer does not go away. It actually intensifies the sparkle effect. So we're gonna actually do this before we place it on our cake. Okay, so this is my plaque with my name for my eight inch tier. And then of course, you all will also be creating a smaller little plaque with the age uh, representing your celebrant's name. So we've gone ahead and created this smaller plaque that's going to be going on top of our six inch. And as you can see, the shape is also different from our original mermaid under the sea theme cake. We wanted to change it up a little bit. You can use any shape of cutter at you know that you want to use. Anything looks nice. We went ahead and cut out our number one with our funky alphabet tappets, oval shaped plaque, and we have some really cute little barnacles on this one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and shimmer my age plaque, and of course, I'm nowhere near one year old, but I just thought that this was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Plus decades. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good for me, because I'm older than you. That's right. You're a guy, doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. So what a, what a beautiful way to spruce up your under the sea theme cake with two gorgeous little plaques, one with the name for your celebrant and one little plaque with the age. Remember, the name will go on our eight inch and the number plaque will go on our six inch. So, so go ahead and make your plaques, guys. Get these ready for a couple of weeks from now. We're gonna go ahead and decorate the entire cake and stay tuned for next week where we will actually be hand painting the entire two-tiered under the theme under the sea themed cake it's gonna be so so pretty lots of fun thank you guys for watching i hope you like this tutorial and would love it if you guys can join us on facebook and also follow us on instagram all right guys god bless you all and take care bye 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 guys